Developing today, jury deliberations are continuing in former President Donald Trump's historic criminal trial in New York. Right now, CBS's Michael George has the latest from outside the courthouse. Former President Donald Trump expressed his frustration as he returned to a Manhattan courtroom where a jury is deciding his fate. Here we go again. We'll be here. It looks like a long time. Thank you. The jury requested to rehear jury instructions and portions of testimony from David Pecker, the former publisher of the National Enquirer, and Michael Cohen, Trump's one-time fixer. That includes accounts of a meeting the two had with Trump in 2015 to discuss an alleged catch-and-kill scheme to bury scandals ahead of the 2016 presidential election. Testimony of Michael Cohen and David Pecker, they're, they're key witnesses in the case, and they want to make sure that they, they got it right. The presumptive Republican presidential nominee is facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors say he tried to conceal a repayment to Cohen for hush money paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels. The former president denies any wrongdoing. The judge in the case, Judge Juan Mershon, is rereading some of his 55 pages of jury instructions because in New York State, the jury isn't allowed to take the instructions into the deliberation room. It would be hard for anybody to remember elements of 55 pages yeah. and then put the facts sort of in there when, during their del deliberations. I wonder if they will ask for yet another because there are several different complicated elements mm. here that one would hope they would get really specific on. The jury is comprised of seven men and five women, including two lawyers. To find Trump guilty, the jury would have to reach a unanimous decision. Michael George, CBS News, New York.